Hey guys, this is Siwat the Platinum One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Ruby version. Last time we met, we explored Lily Cove City, defeated our rival May, and found out that Team Magma had something to do at Mount Pyre. So, we are going to do just that, and we also got a Pokeblock case. Which I blended like a bajillion berries off screen, and my and Gil's beauty should, and I mean should, be it maxed out now because I already tried to record this once. Okay, it looks like it. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? So, please work, please work, please work. Have it done all screen. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I can finally continue with this LP. Ha ha ha. And we get Milotic. Very nice. But unfortunately though, Milotic's moves, or better moves rather, can only be learned by the move relearner, so technically I'm gonna have to go back there. But in turn, its special defense and special attack has increased. It can now actually learn attacks and and pretty awesome stuff too, so it's pretty freaking awesome. But before we go to Mount Pyre, though, I want to show this off real quick. The... The... Safari Zone. All you can catch for just 500 Poké Dollars. Yes, indeed. All the way up to Generation 5, which banned it from existence. Ah, uh, that's weird. Okay. So, in the Safari Zone... Basically, how Safari Zones work in Pokémon games is that, well... You go into a Safari Zone for 500 Poké Dollars. You find a wild Pokémon, presumably, and I should probably get off my forward pals. Jeez. There are many areas, so for so called, in the Safari Zone that can be accessed via macro uh, ma macro bike, acro bike, and come on, come on, you stupid. Thank you. Which can only be accessed via mock bike or acro bike, depending on whatever floats your boat. You can also pl place Poke Blocks in these feeders right here in order to attract more Pokemon. Over here, we got some not to, so I'm gonna catch it. I'm just gonna catch it because why the hell not? Now, Safari zones are basically based upon luck, so if you're not, if your luck isn't really that good, more power to ya. Yeah. I'm not gonna name these Pokemon. I'm not gonna use any of them on my team. I'm just catching them because why the heck not? But, is there an item over here that I could potentially get? Indeed there is, so... It's a Calcium. Alright, that's... that's neat. It's neato. Why am I not finding any Pokemon? There's some Pokemon! And it's another freaking not too. Gee. What the heck is up? A helpful tip for you is to just tap the control stick, or tap the control pad, in, or rather, press B, or I don't know, I don't know, just tapping the control pad so that you can, like, find wild Pokemon without taking a step. But over here we got Oddish, which you can already find on Route 119, and stuff. Didn't really explain Oddish. Oddish is an okay grass type. It is. And why am I not catching it? It evolves into Gloom, which can evolve into one of two Pokemon. One being Vileplume and the other and the other being Belossum. Personally, I would prefer Beloss Belossum simply because special attack and special defense. I guess. And stuff. I don't know, maybe I'll find something. Yeah, and ooh, a Heracross! Yes, you can also find Heracross here, and you can throw Poke Blocks at it. So, let's see. I'm gonna throw a gray one. Yeah, I blended a bunch of berries off screen. A bunch of. What the freak? <laughs> 
What the freak just happened there? Oh my goodness. And hey, look at that. I found a Chugga Conroy reference. And there's a Fan P right there. Yeah, Fan P is really, really good to have. It's a good ground type, but if you're going through the last third or quarter of the game, it's not going to be very, very good for you to have this Pokemon, since it's basically going to be weak to the type that's going to be pretty much you're going to be seeing throughout the last quarter of the game. It, it's not that great. But, other than that, Fampy is a really good Pokemon. It's good defensively and whatnot. And hello, Zatu. Natu is evolved form. Jeez. Finding Pokemon all around the place, am I? And holy crap, I actually caught it in one shot. <laughs> I'm just on a catching spree. But I suppose that's about enough of the Safari Zone that I gotta show, but... There are many... But just to note, there are many other areas of the Safari Zone that you can go to. And to explore. Due to stuff being, well, all spread out and everything. I believe there's also an area where you can only access it via mock, mock bike. And, oh, hello! Hello, Abafet! That's somehow uber for having only moves set... For having only the moves counter, destiny, bond, safeguard, and uh, that other move. But yeah, you wanna you wanna know what that egg we got? Do you remember that egg we got at Labrador Town? Well, it does indeed hatch into Wobbuffet's pre-evolved form. Why not? And and you're never gonna guess that's why. Why not? I mean. First time I played through, I had no idea. It's like, holy crap, it evolves into that Pokemon? That's pretty odd. But anyway, you can retire if you want, but... Yeah, I'm just gonna... Do all that. I, I'm probably gonna try to catch one more Pokemon, and then that'll be it. And that's the one I already caught. Okay, screw it. I'm... Uh, screw it, I'm retiring. Yeah. Retire. Would you like to exit? Yes, I would. I would, sir. And goddammit, I can't run in buildings like in black and white. Jeez. Okay, so. Now let's actually get back to the plot and let's not use a rare candy. Don't be an idiot. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's go over here because that's where we want to go. Look at my awesome Milotic. Carrying me on this back. It should be like a serpent. But yeah. But indeed, we are in now Mount in blah 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 Mount Pyre. Which is indeed the Pokemon Tower of Hoenn. Basically. Here you can find your standard ordinary ghost types, such as Duskull and Ruby, Shuppet and Sapphire, or both in Emerald. But after we've taken care of Team Magma here, I want to go back because there's another item that we could get here. And... I believe this music is sort of like Animal Crossing, I'm not... I don't really remember, but... What I do remember is TM48, which is... Well, if my theory is correct, it... Why do I have theories for what TMs are? It's Skill Swap. It switches abilities. And stuff. It's good for psychic types, but yeah. But out here, you can find Pokemon such as Vulpix, uh, the ghost types, I believe, and um, and uh, what the heck? What the heck is that other one? Um, okay, I don't really know, but but one Pokemon that's really rare that you can find here is Trimeco. Which is, special attack is kind of decent. It is. It really is. So, yeah. And by the way, if you're playing Pokemon Emerald, you would have to stop Team Aqua, not Team Magma here. If you're playing, if you're also playing Pokemon Emerald, Team Magma has their own hideout at the Jagged Pass. Which, after you complete the side quest here, you'll find, you'll get the Magma Emblem, which will allow you to access their hideouts in Emerald. I'm saying emerald a lot. Emerald, emerald, emerald. 
if I was to watch all the Wizard of Oz for Emerald City or something. I'll show you how exactly how Team Magma is scary. Ooh. Yeah, you're really scary. Yeah, so, what'd you get? You got a Zubat. That's fine. So, let's take you down. With Takedown. And you know what? I'm gonna bring out Milotic next. I don't care what Pokemon... What other Pokemon he's got. Or what Zubat has next. So let's go, Gil. Let's do it. Fun fact, him. Fun fact, Zachary Gordon voices Gil and Bubble Guppies. That's really odd. Ha! It's funny because... It's funny because Zachary Gordon was the diary of a wimpy kid kid. Ha! <laughs> Just a little fact there. Just throwing that out there right now. <laughs> Alright. So see how much more useful Milotic is than Feebas? See? It, it really does get the job done. And I really want to train up Gil right there. So you think you can stand up alone to Team Magma's might? Yes, I do. I do. But if you go over here, I believe there are some hidden items. Yep. There's a Zinc right there. And nothing else. Alright. I think it's actually only in this area where you can find Chameco. I'm not sure. Because there is wild grass over... Wild Pokemon grass over here. And... Yeah. Wild Pokemon. And there's a Duskull! Yep, indeed. There's your Duskull right there. And let's see. Nope. Just... Tombstones of dead Pokemon that are dead. And they're not fainted, guys. They're dead. They're actually truly dead. Haha. <laughs> I like ruining kids' dreams. Yes, what is a single kid is expected to do? Well, I'll tell you kick ass and take names. And I'm all out of names. But anyway, we got Bosco Dora to take names, so take down again and suck it. Alright, so we got taken that, we got taken care of that, 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 that. And now let's bring out Gil, because that's apparently also the name of, name of that fish in Finding Nemo that got the scar. You know that fish in Finding Nemo that got the, got the scar in the bubble tank thing? And you want to know what that yellow fish's name is, name is, that's part of the tank gang as they're officially called? That yellowfish's name is Bubbles. I'm not kidding. His name is actually Bubbles. Indeed, one of the many mysteries of Finding Nemo is solved. That guy's name is officially Bubbles. Alright, so I had to go over here. I had to go over there. Hey, I remember you from Mount Chimney. It's payback time! What am I? I said A like Fonzi from Happy Days, even though technically I did not see Happy Days, but... I wasn't one of those kids that saw Happy Days. Because I wasn't. Alright, take down again. And holy crap, Ohlone, you survived. Alright, special defense, sharply rose, and mud slap. Boosh. And there we go, indeed. And next is another new mail, so let's bring out Milo Tick again. Gee, I'm forgetting to place Gil out in front. I should really do that more often. And I should seriously forget Splash after Milo Tick learns its next move. Gee. Alright. Erg, beaten by some kid again. Yes, I am. Yes, I am some kid. What of it? Alright. Is there anything over here? Oh, rare candy. Very nice. Well, that's very nice. Rare candy. So, let's go over here. Is there anything else over here? I guess not. Wait, wait. Nope. Nothing else. So, let's go over here to you, guy. Not you again. You've impeded our plans repeatedly, but this time you are too late. Like a train. The blue orb that rested atop Mount Pyre. I, Maxi, claim it as mine. Foo, foo, foo. 
Finally, I can realize my grand design. Come on, crew! It's Slaveport next! Oh no, this cannot happen. How could they take the blue orb? The blue orb and red orb must never be separated. They belong together. Da 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 da. Hmm. Fine, you take the remaining red orb. Please take it after that foul man and get the other orb back. Yes, indeed. So we have to get the other orb back, as that old lady just told us. So, I plan to go on Mount Pyre in the next episode. But for now, let's go to Slayport in order to advance the plot, because after that fiasco with the Safari Zone, I guess we'd rather have plot, of plan plot advancement here than, than we do otherwise. And hello, guy who I thought it was a girl, and yet I'm saying this for the empty time. How are you? I see, I see. You've had a most invaluable experience. And what about you, Ty? Okay, Captain St Stern, a big smile for the camera. Alright, so what you got? Yes, indeed! We intend to move ahead with our exploration. That's wonderful, Captain Stern. Thank you for taking the time on your busy schedule to talk to us. We hope we can interview you again with news of more discoveries. <laughs> yeah. Phew. Well, that's my first time being filmed on TV. That was nerve-wracking. Oh, Charlie, you're looking great! We made a huge discovery on our last seafloor exploration. We found another water cavern on Route 2 1 128. We think it's a habitat of a Pokemon that's long been extinct. Fur 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 fur. Captain Stern, I presume. We of Team Magma will assume control of your submarine. Your objections are meaningless. Your objections are meaningless. We expect your total cooperation. Fur fur fur. Just watch and learn what Team Magma has planned. What was that all about? It sounded like someone using a megaphone. Where did it come from? It's from the harbor! The submarine! They're trying to take it! Charlie, please come with me! Well, of course we walk automatically, but we don't walk automatically to Team Magma. Jeez. <laughs> I come blah 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 with you. All that effort you spent following me all the way from Mount Pyre, but now no one can stop us. No one! Or, will you follow us back to our hideout in Lily Cove City? Thank you for telling me your operations! You're just like Team Galactic. Fwa ha 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 ha! Yeah, you know, in Simon and Pearl and Platinum when Jupiter said, Oi! Oh, oh, jeez! Are you wanna follow us into our hideout in Veilstone City? Blech. Why? Why would Team Magma steal my submarine Explorer 1? They can't be after the slubbering Pokémon at the bottom of the sea. And even if I were to chase him, I don't stand a chance against them. Yeah, because you're stupid. But whatever. So, we now know what to do. We must chase Team Magma down. But, we'll save that for another time because I want to go back to Mount Pyre in the next part so that I may explore more of it because I really didn't get a chance to. So, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Ruby version, we are going to head back to Mount Pyre to see what is there to see. And then, according to the map, the only other area we haven't explored is Route 123, where the Berry Master's house is, and there's a lot more to that route too, so we might as well go there. So, see you guys all next time! Thank you for watching, and goodbye!